Chicago's own Daria Natural Salon is Phoenix, Arizona's top full service salon. Owner and celebrity stylist Daria specializes in natural hair care, dreadlocks, press, braids, crochet, weaves, extensions. Book an appointment with the barber for your next haircut, line, or shave. Book your appointment now. Call 602 612 4117 and don't forget to tell them big super sent you it's super in arizona today we are in wiki up arizona today's video guns there's nothing more arizona than guns one of the loosest states as far as the gun laws and right now i'm in one of the biggest gun events that you've ever seen. I think it's probably one of the biggest gun events in the entire world. If you take a look just over that hill, you can see smoke coming from some of the blast. And uh, we're headed right over there in the middle of the desert. Guns in Arizona, you're gonna get a chance to see Arizona gun culture. Can you hear that in the background? I'm on the ass now, can't get a pass now. I'm a cash cow, keeping it brass now. Niggas is trash now, I'm a spaz out. I've been killing my lows and living on highs. You see in the skies the proof. You could just see in my eyes that there is no lies. I cannot disguise the truth. A lot of people came out and made a whole weekend out of it. Bunch of fifth wheelers and stuff like that out here. There's our range right up there. Bunch more fifth wheelers off of there. We're surrounded by mountains. This is actually a cool thing to actually make a weekend of, or at least spending the night. Yeah. Come out, pitch a tent, camp, and shoot and, guns. And shoot, <laughs> shoot guns. Think about that, bro. Nighttime tracer rounds, artillery rounds, the, the grills going, hey. like your barbecue, you know. All right, we made it to our destination. As you see, they're getting it in, bro this video we're gonna see a bunch of guns hey we got my man Ricardo joining us today Yeah. That was like the Marine Corps right there. Oh man, that was some of that fucking powder, dude. Mm. He busting. No, these fools got uh, fully autos. Yeah. Full yep. auto. Full auto, man. This is, I guess, an ATF uh, or NAF approved range where they allow full automatic weapons to be fired. What my man got right here? Where? Right here sitting on the, this uh, one? yeah. Got is that something mounted on the back of the tank normally? No, uh, it's an aircraft gun that's uh, mounted on, they, they built them smaller, like that in 1919, and they used them on uh, the dive bombers to protect the tail. Okay. Uh, they'd have a guy back there. Ah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Stick it out. Yep. Yeah, and it shoots uh, 13, 1400 rounds per minute. Yeah. What size round again? 30 out 6. 30 out 6. Okay. And you think, uh, some, uh, man, I don't know, three, four years back, uh, I think a kid came by and he says, is that a 22? Because <laughs> you know it's so small. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, anyway, right. yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, all right. Are you Arizona? You, you from Arizona? No, Indiana. Indiana, you came out to shoot some guns? Yeah. You got I've been some... coming since 2004. Only in the spring I was coming, and now I'm retired, so I'm going to come. More often? Yep, every uh, every shoot. Twice all right. Yeah, yeah. Nice, man. Yeah. Do you get to shoot stuff like this, shoot out there where, in Indiana? It's too flat. Is it? Okay. There's nothing, yeah. Okay. I can't even really test fire my guns unless I was going up the farm with hills. And where I am, it's all flat, you know, cornfields and that. And, and you know, they'll travel, uh, round will travel uh, three and a half miles, you know. You don't know what's on that other side. Right, yeah. right. They shut all the Indiana gun ranges down. You used to be able to shoot a little full auto. Uh, a couple guys came in with a 50, and they did, didn't set up on the berm. They set back. Rounds were skipping out, went into a building, and they... Mm. Band all. That was it. You can shoot your full auto, but it has to be in semi-automatic, you know, in the slicker switch. What is that? That's a Browning That's 30 caliber, 1919 A1. Did you say 81? A4, my okay. bad. All right, 
So, this basically is just a big brother of that one. It operates the same way. You'll have to charge it twice. Only on this one, the charging handle rotates downward and then back all the way to here. You've got to put all your weight into it to charge it. So it'll, you see this little hinge here? So it'll rotate down to about here, and then you need to jerk it all the way back there and then let it fly. You need to do that with an open palm like this. You don't want to put your thumb like this because if it bucks, you could break your thumb. See the light? Boom! See it? Oh, he's hitting that button. These fools, you don't want to hit you don't want them to hit the block. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want smoke, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we kind of missed the big show, but I still wanted to get out here so you can see Arizona gun culture. Arizona's known for the gun. People are coming from all over the nation coming here to shoot guns. Why? Because first off, this is the greatest state in our nation. <laughs> Hell yeah. And a uh, great place to do so. You see it's everything out here. When the situation now now we're looking at, at AR, so what is that? It just was 22. Yeah, but now we like I know we're like, oh that's just an AR. <laughs> it's Compared just, to the 50 cal back there. Right, exactly, dude. That's just 30 out six though. Yeah guys, just wanted to get you guys out here. We're in the middle of nowhere man it was totally off of google what's that over there oh those are cars that they're firing oh they're blowing up cars yeah, out yeah, there they too bro cars, yeah. yeah they got some they, i think they're real it used to be oh yeah i seen that video it had a real car back there yeah, used to be more to them i, I can imagine oh, yeah. for these fools got a hold to them yeah. magazines you see what's going on how we doing, how you doing? excellent excellent how are you guys doing today? Right. This fine Let's Arizona morning. Let's look. What are you guys uh, Let's get, so not too far yet. Oh, uh, there we go. Two and a half hours. Hit that again, it'll go off. What, what's that you got there? What kind of gun is that? Oh, that is a 1908 Maxim gun. 1908? That's how World War I was fought. Nice, man. He's probably not real. Partial to that point in his head. Right, you put it right. <laughs> <laughs> the war to end all wars, remember that? Yeah, there we go. That'll oh. work better. And you guys are from right here in Arizona. Yeah, two hour, two and a half hours south. This is Arizona gun culture at its finest. I would agree with you. Would you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. World War I uh, aircraft maximum gun set up for Zeppelin defense. So they had those on the Zeppelins and the observation balloons shooting back at the spads that were busy, uh, you know, trying to knock them out of the air because they were using hydrogen in the balloons. Mm -hmm. You put enough trace in there and hydrogen goes poof. Helium hadn't been discovered yet. Okay. So hydrogen lighter than air, but it's explosive. Yeah. <laughs> World War II MG34, German. Universal machine gun. They had mounts for everything for this sucker up to, including bicycles and donkeys. These guns actually seen some uh, some action. Full combat. Did oh, yeah. they? Yeah. This one came home. Uh, that one came home <clears throat> at the end of World War One and ended up in the VFW hall for God knows how many years before it cycled through. That's the green paint that's on it. The VFW halls were Army and Navy. The Air Force didn't exist yet. So okay. they would paint them green for the Army and gray for the Navy. That one is a Jap Type 98. Okay, it's a copy of a German MG-15 bomber defense gun. And they copied it all the way down to the caliber. Did you have to bring these guns back to life? Or no, actually, nope. They were ready to go ready when you got go. them? This one my father traded for in England in 1967, traded a bottle of bourbon for it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it and the 34 came home under the back seat of a Nash Rambler and hey. uh, were registered in 68. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So as far as having to bring them back to life, no. Keeping them running, now that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. You guys going to fire any more out here today or you, nah. you guys are done? Hell, we're out of ammo, man. Are you, well, man? We gotta go home, get more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Arizona get down. Look at this. So then the, that's why you're saying that. that, that, that oh, like, he has a launcher. What? Ooh, I was gonna buy one of these kits. You can put it on your AR. 
just yeah, yeah, most likely as a flash bang. Probably. Yeah. Sitting under your breath somewhere. Yeah, I got another one if it uh, doesn't get found. No big deal. How's it going, guys? Excellent, man. Yourself? Not bad. Not bad. This is the bad part. Cleaning up, huh? It was worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys reload them yourselves? Uh, <laughs> eventually, yes. Yeah. Right now. Are you guys done? Ugh. You're wrapping it up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Put it in perspective, quick toot on it. Because yeah. a lot of these fools think they can really shoot. Yeah, well, shoot, shoot that like a moving target like that. It's kind of a decent sized target. And you miss with full, full auto. Yeah, full auto, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he missed that. He missed that. It was right there, like 10 feet from him. <laughs> I don't think that they worry about them hitting the plane. No, no, that's what it's for. Let me go. Let's they go. They probably replace the plastic. I have to go rap with him about that. Yeah. Here go our uh, plane operator right here, controlling the action. He doesn't even look worried like someone's going to hit that plane. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to that range. Everything is chill in the range, right? Exactly. Yeah. Put a little movement in his like, uh. Even John. <laughs> what you think, man? <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. yeah. There are holes in it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so here, here, here. That's here, a good one. Right through there. Oh, oh yeah, there's one right through here. That missed right the electronics barely. <laughs> this went in the front of the wing and out right there. <laughs> Knock anything down? Uh, yesterday. Oh. Yesterday. <laughs> here, come come on, on over and take a look. <laughs> Yesterday and the day before, there's carnage. They got a hold of some of this. <laughs> they were a little rough on them. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's actually not that bad. That, so that didn't wild. hit any electronics. Yeah, yeah. This one was flowing last night, even though it had been hit a few so times. Like the one you were just flying, uh, what is that the one? The motor flying? got shot up. So the Maybe that was a different one, but uh, just four speed. bolts, so pull the motor off, put a new one on, back up, yeah. 15 bucks, and you're back in the air. Yeah, yeah unless they hit any of the le the electronics here or there and there, it's not going down. So that's what they got to hit. Not only just the plane, they got to hit a vital spot. They could be full of holes. Uh, and that's actually going to be tough to hit unless you tilt it. Which I've seen them tilt a couple of times. This thing's 30 years old. Oh, wow. Legitimately 30. <coughs> That's an original handmade for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you hit the battery. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that one's not going to fly. Well, actually, he fell, he fell out the, the sky. He was, yeah. there, he was done. Here, look. Angle your little units of measure. So that's for adjusting the fire. See the difference between a 223 and a 50 cal. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's right here. Blow your head right off. Smooth. Were you guys shooting bowling balls? Is that what that's for? Yeah. Yeah, it is right there. Oh, they were throwing the, uh, the bowling balls out of that thing right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and that's I don't see him here, though. The guy that, oh, he just walked away. Can you knock that plane out the air? Uh, probably not Come with this on, thing. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Were you here uh, yesterday? No, man. Uh, we missed the fun. I know. It's pretty crazy. They had like mini guns and all that. Yeah. Letting it rip. Some real, some real stuff, huh?
Oh yeah. If there was a guy right here with a huge tank rifle that was like taller than me. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a giant anti-tank rifle, probably like seven feet long. How big were the rounds? This oh, yeah. big. Oh, my God. About bigger than your hand. Yeah. It was just grown ass men shooting it and then just giggling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it literally it had recoil just reloading it. Yeah. Are you guys from Arizona? Uh, no, we're from uh, Los Angeles. Okay, from LA. Yeah. That came out here just to shoot, man. Yeah, I mean, my my grandpa actually runs this whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he just come out here, brings us some guns, and we're just chilling here shooting the whole day. Yeah. That's, that's dope, man. Dope. Uh -huh. All right. All right. You take care. Have a good one. All right, guys. That is a wrap. Just wanted to bring you out here to. Uh, Big Sandy, let you guys see, see, see some uh, Arizona culture, the gun life. Uh, we missed all the big action. Uh, it was probably, I mean, we missed some big action. So there's no telling what we missed, but uh, what, what they call those tracer rounds? The tracer rounds, like, uh, I can see them at night. Uh, the tracer rounds, big damn near cannons. And, artillery rounds. Yeah, artillery. is that what it is? Artillery rounds? Yeah. So, anyway guys, this was a good representation of the Arizona Giant culture. Thanks for watching this video. Jump in those comments. Hey, 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 tell them, hey, what's the uh, qualifications? How do you get a gun, AZ? Uh, you have to do a background check. Mm -hmm. And normally it should be pretty instant. In Arizona, they don't have a wait period. Uh, if you have a CCW, then you don't have to do the background check, because on the CCW, there was already a background check established. So. Uh, it could take up to two, three days, but after the third day, I believe it's automatic approval. Uh, don't quote me on that. Check your, of course, local laws, but it's easier here in Arizona for sure. Hey, all right, that's what's up, man. So make sure you do all that stuff. Like, sur like subscribe, share, and uh, yeah, blow up those comments. This your man, Big Super Over. Now, it's your boy. I holla. Peace.